G'day skate champions and welcome to Progress Skateboarding. This here is uh, Aaron Cairo from Rail Skateboarding. Skateboarding with one of my favorite skateboarders, Jason Park, who skates for A Happy Medium Skateboarding. They worked on five unique skateboard tricks for beginners probably about six months ago and I've been dying to, uh, to try these out myself. So as they suggested, I've uh, brought a friend along. This is Mikhail um, and we're gonna try these tricks out right now. Let's get stuck in. You looking forward to this? I am, man. All right, Pumped. let's go. This first trick is the Falcon Stomp, where you have the board on its um, grip tape, and uh, yeah, you just try and kick the crap out of it until it rolls over. A bit awkward, hey? A little bit, yeah, it felt a bit bad. <laughs> felt pretty bad for the board. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got a couple of really weak ones, and then and whilst Mikel struggled a little bit, and uh, and then Mikel just started getting them, and you really found his form, right? Yeah, yeah, I felt, I felt like if I kind of stepped forward and rolled a little bit, so it was like a stomp and a step. Yep. The, the, the step naturally let the roll kind of happen. Onto your toes. Yep. Yeah, okay, well, and then we try to get it together at the same time, and uh, look, we got one of them. So we're gonna move on to the uh, the next trick. Um, and I think that's the Bibelheimer, uh, which I've done before, but uh, yeah, we'll just give it a go. Rad. All right, the Bibelheimer or the uh, the grip, what is it called? The grip, uh, grip flip. Um, I've had this before and it's so awkward. I couldn't quite figure it out and we were both just a bit stumped for how to get it to flip at a good pace or good rotation each time. And I got a couple of really dodgy ones and Mikhail then started to sort of just out of nowhere, you got the flip. Yeah, I felt a bit lucky. I can't tell you what's different about it though. No. I, I think it might be the angle of the thumb at the back. Yeah. It just changes the drop down a bit, but I couldn't do it consistently, so. Yeah, we were just sort of experimenting with like how hard to put, throw it down, um, those uh, sort of wrist positioning, but um, yeah, we got a couple in the end and then we try to speed it up, which is a bit comical and no luck um, with those guys. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna move on to trick number three, the flamingo. Uh, the beginner flamingo though. Right. Um, let's just get stuck into that now and um, you know, which is like, yeah. This is, a, uh, this is pretty much a Jason Park classic sort of trick, the flamingo, and uh, we're just gonna be really trying the uh, the beginner version of it, the, uh, the easy entry version, I guess. And it took us a little while just to get our head around um, how to sort of achieve this. Mikhail had a great idea of sort of like leaving our back foot sort of not on the tail, but above the back trucks, um, and uh, just sort of going, like, what, what angle would that be? Um, uh, I think it's a 90 degree angle. Yeah, it's 90 degree, yeah. And, um, and yeah, that worked really well. And then, uh, yeah, we got a couple of stationary ones. There was, it was definitely an ankle killer, this one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, and, uh, and then we went to try these rolling. Uh, and I, I think they, you know, you stop, you roll into it, you stop, you get it, get it uh, and then you kind of just get to push away from it. Pretty fun though? Really fun. I find it easier than I thought. Yeah, okay. Like usually the easy, five best easy tricks, I'm like, I can't do any of this. <laughs> actually coming off a ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't feel like you're beating the board up as much as the first two tricks. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, so trick number four, another Jason Park classic, which I've wanted to try for ages, um, is the, the I think it's the judo rock fakie. Uh, Mikhail has no idea what that is. Um, but I, I think it's great and I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's get stuck into uh, trick number four. The big issue with trying this trick here is that there was no coping to that protrude, so you couldn't rely on sort of locking into the rock. Uh, you sort of had to just kind of get your balance on it. And Mikhail and I just sort of worked on just holding onto the nose and then rolling back in both feet on the board. And I totally slammed my finger on the hover. But we cracked yeah. on and it was it was particularly Mikhail who was just going, going for it, just holding on, um, trying to get his foot out and just trying to trying to just roll back in uh, and that spurred me on to try and just like up my game and uh, I ended up getting uh, two. Oh, 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 oh. And then uh, changed angles so we could get Mikhail coming from the other side because he's regular footed. We just kept at it and uh, he got one in there and then got a really good one, which we were both super stoked about, and, uh, and I finally got another one. The great thing about this trick is that it's, um, it's quite difficult in parts, and there's a lot of trust. However, it's not too hard to accomplish, and we both really love this trick. All right, trick number, trick number five is uh, the double knee drop-in. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And uh, we're not going to try this on the transition. We are going to try it on this bank here, just like um, 
Aaron and Jason did in their video. So let's get stuck in. Sounds great. All right, the double knee drop-in um, was very strange at first. I think we both wanted to go straight up and get that tail stool and then try it. Uh, Mikhail went straight in to uh, get his knee pads on, uh, which was clever. Uh, my first attempt, um, I just went for it and my left knee sort of slid off the um, grip tape and just took a whole heap of uh, concrete with it. And that was pretty painful. And then Mikhail went in with the knee pads and uh, yeah, we both kind of like bailed straight away. Um, but then I just felt, because I didn't have the knee pads, I just had to commit. I had to just, just really go at it. I got a couple of them and uh, then Mikhail got a whole heap uh, in a row. Which was real good. Definitely easy with the, with the knee pads. <laughs> it's, the, uh, yeah. it's the easy way out. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, that, was, that was pretty clever, actually. Um, and uh, you also got a, a one a one legged knee, or oh, one knee. Yeah, I appreciate the creativity of the trick, so it was I mean, fun to see what else we could do with it. Yeah, yeah. Without having to worry about the old knee, 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 Worth the yeah, it was good. It was very, very good. Very worth, very worthwhile. Um, pretty unique trips. Yeah, love yeah, them. Really cool. Yeah, it's really fun to sort of like um, push the boundaries and, and have, have a lot of just obscure fun with skateboarding. And um, Jason Park, he sort of represents that side of skateboarding completely. And uh, I really, uh, I really enjoy watching his stuff. So thanks to Aaron and uh, and Jason for these uh, five tricks. Mikhail and I really enjoyed them. Um, but uh, we'll see you, legends, uh, next next video. We'll keep skating, keep having fun, of course. Keep, keep progressing. Thank you, ladies. Look at that helmet. That helmet's looking real nice. Real nice. Who skates for a happy medium skateboards? Oh my god, look at that guy flying from there. That's Did you see him? I loved it. I think you need to. <laughs> that was kind of it.